All right, guys, Miss Ellis, your art teacher here. Today we're going to talk about pond life. So I want you to picture stepping outside and walking up to a pond in North Carolina. Now I'm not talking about the coast, but I'm talking about here in Spruce Pine. Okay, say that you walk up to a pond. What kind of animals do you see? All right, let's talk about animals that are not in the water, but are on land, All right? You might see a deer walking around, um, coming to get some water to drink. Uh, you might see rabbits. You could see ducks uh, swimming on top of the pond. You may see frogs, salamanders. Uh, you might even see a snake, so you might wanna be careful where you're walking. Um, uh, and then you might see birds in the sky or you know other animals um, coming to get water to drink. I want you to put on a scuba outfit and you're going to dive into the water. Okay, what animals do you see underwater? Do you see fish, maybe tadpoles, uh, minnows, uh, crayfish? Uh, also look around, what kind of vegetation do you see? Do you see uh, algae maybe growing? Uh, also on land, I'm sure that you will see grass, flowers, trees. You might see lily pads on top of the water. So think about all that we have just talked about, things that you might see around a pond. We are going to create a pond life drawing where we're gonna capture a lot of this. Okay, so be thinking about which animals and vegetation that you wanna use as I show you what to do. All right guys, so we are gonna start out by drawing a line, just one line. So you are gonna start on the right side about right here Notice how it's not too far up. Um, it's probably a little over halfway. You're gonna start right here, and you're gonna draw straight across, and then about right here, you're gonna start going down, and then about right here, you're gonna level out to the left side, just like this. You might wanna go ahead and pause the video so that you can draw this line before we move on. Okay, so our next step is adding in our water line. So you are going to draw a line from right here to right here, and this is gonna be where your water is. So you might wanna go ahead and pause the video so that you can add in that water line right now. Should look something like this when you are finished. All right, now's the time to start adding in the animals that we talked about. Do you remember we talked about the animals that would be on land? Like maybe a deer. We could put a deer right here. Um, we could put a rabbit here. Um, we could do ducks, frog, salamander, snake. And you do not have to add all of these, but these are just some that you could add in. All right, what are some underwater animals that we talked about? Fish, tadpoles, um, crayfish. I believe we also talked about vegetation. There's algae, lily pads, trees, flowers, and don't forget your grass and your mud. Make sure to add color to your water and your sky. You can add some clouds in there if you want to. And there's your pond life drawing. Uh, now keep in mind, you don't have to use all these animals or vegetation. You can also add more that we didn't talk about. I know we didn't talk about uh, butterflies or dragonflies or anything like that. Feel free to add those in. Uh, but I want you to take your time, color it, make it look really good. I'm excited to see these.